you may begin. Okay, well, I'm Ava Bennett, and this is my Zena project. Um, okay, so I chose to do quilling, and quilling, I had no idea what it was, but quilling is paper art, um, and it involves using strips of paper that are rolled, shaped, and glued together to create designs and images. And so here are some examples that you can see, and this is actually a really cool apartment. It's beautiful. And I chose this, like Elena, I wanted to kind of do something that I'd never done before. And I'd grown up painting and doing a lot of physical art. And so I was like, I think I want to do something that's a little different than that and a chance to push myself. Um, and I wanted something as detailed as painting and kind of working on those like little things. Um, and this was definitely a challenge that I found. Okay, here's my mood board. So here are like some of the things that intrigued me and were some of my inspiration. A lot of these have really small details that you can't see, but um, these were like the highest standard of quilling that I could find and I did a lot of like um, looking on Pinterest and Etsy has a lot of quilling that I had no idea about. Mm. So here was kind of what had inspired me. So <laughs> first, here's this sketch that I had kind of come up with and then Miss P was like, because you've never done this before, you should probably try and practice. So I took, like, I got all the paper and the tools and stuff, and then I started practicing. And you can do so many cool shapes with quilling. Um, and so here's, like, a heart, and I just kind of, like, tried to figure out how to even work the paper, because they're, like, little strips of paper. I should have put a picture, but yeah. um, they're just, like, strips of paper, and you have to, like, work them and, like, roll them, kind of. So here's that, and then my sketch. Okay, progress. So progress is very slow in quilling in the beginning. Um, so I just was like practicing rolling and like making these like tiny tight little rolls. Um, and then also when you're quilling and you want the paper to stand up straight, you have to pin it down while it's gluing. And so here is me and I put a cork like board underneath and then I would glue the lines of paper and then I would pin them in place and then I had to w let them dry. And so that was kind of something that took a lot of time was like letting these like the shapes of the body dry but then you can see I also started like working on the eyeball and stuff. And then here you can see I started working, I finished kind of the outline of the main part of the body and then I started doing the uh, feathers and this is what took me probably the most time out of this project <laughs> because as you can see there's these little pieces of paper that I cut and then I rolled them and then I would place them individually to create this kind of like, kind of looks like a fish scale but it's like feather effect. Um, and then I'm also working on like the feet and other parts of the body and just working on these feathers. And so here we go, as you can see you can kind of see it coming along, this took a long time so I, I think this is like definitely the most intricate part of the project but you can see I was filling in my spaces with more of these long pieces of paper and like I added the beak and filled in the eye and then just kept working on these spots. Okay, and then I did another section and this was multicolored and so I just keep pl placing this on. And then you can see here I started working on the kind of main tail part of the peacock. Um, and I just started rolling and like kind of shaping these pieces of paper to place down for the tail. <coughs> um, and this didn't take as much time as this part would, I say, I'd say, but it definitely was tricky because I wanted it to like look cohesive and all the colors to flow. So most of this was I would just like curl the pieces of paper and then I would figure out how to place them. So you can see I'm, I'm slowly trying to figure out how to place them and, and build up the tail. And then you can see, you can see here's an example of like pieces of paper, they're like really long, like skinny strips. And then I would take them and I would use this tool um, and I would like rub it against and that would create kind of like a wavy effect. And so here I'm just like placing and filling in the tail. Okay, and then here I have the tail all finished. Um, I kind of had been gun to ran out, run out of time and so I feel like next time I would have filled this in a little bit more, but I was happy with that. And then I began kind of creating these like eyelets that the peacocks have like at the end of the feathers. <coughs> and then here is the final. And so <laughs> I'm really happy with it. And 
learning this new skill was definitely hard. Um, I'd never done this before, and so it was very fun, but also I was unsure a lot of the time, like, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I feel like it turned out really cool, and I'm super happy with it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm ready for any questions. Or yes, anything? let's have some <laughs> questions and comments. Yeah, good. I, can, yeah, I yeah. can pass it around actually. It's, there's a lot of glue on it. Um, um, can you hold it up and show it to everybody oh, yeah. before you pass it around? Yeah, it, it looks get like. it on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. So here's what it looks like. Um, and then, yeah, so it's like physical, it, it's like kind of 3D, and there, it's glued down very solidly. So, yeah. But still be incredibly yeah, so still. It's definitely fresh. Yeah, Mary. How long did it take for the glue to dry? Like, what glue were you using? So, I started out with Elmer's glue, and to get it in this tiny, like, eye-dropping kind of glue um, thing, I had to water it down a little. And so it was, like, watered down Elmer's glue, which took a long time to dry, and it was kind of making the paper, like, wet, actually, and it would, like, fall over. And then Miss P recommended, like, a fast-drying glue, and so then... But after like I completed all this, I switched to it during this so it went faster because I was like, I need to. And so that one I like would put a row and kind of let it dry a little more and then like place them in. Any other questions? Who else? I have a question. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> when you're doing, for example, the tail feathers, mm -hmm. let's say, and you put it down, do you, does, does every single piece have to be pre cut? Or can you cut them if you make them too long or whatever? Yeah, so for the And how do you ones, do that? For all these smaller ones, I would pre-cut it. I would kind of hold it against and pre-cut it. But uh -huh. for these tail ones, I would um, like curl most of it and then kind of glue down the beginnings. Like I would glue like right here, but like leave these like edges kind okay. of all like freestanding. So then I could like manipulate them if I wanted to move them. Okay. And so I okay. had like... The beginnings, but then I would be say if like this blue one, I only glued to like the middle of it. So okay. then like I was like, oh, this is gonna be the middle, so I might want to move it or like shift it. So then at the end, I went through and kind of like cut the edges and kind of cleaned it up a little. But yeah. And then how did you cut them? Did you just use scissors? I used scissors. So, so you just went <laughs> like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I had, I, my mom has like super sharp like tiny scissors and so I like went for Oh, like, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like embroidery scissors uh -huh. or yeah. something. Yes. yes. Well, this is just absolutely stunning. Thank you. I mean, this is frameable and yeah. I hope you plan I mean, on framing I it. I do, yeah. I'm yeah, really it's really nice. You used good paper for mm -hmm. it and um, I think with a beautiful colored map board on it, like maybe yeah. even this blue, it would be stunning. I didn't realize how teeny tiny, <laughs> like some of these pieces right in here are. Are very small, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like when I was looked at your progress shots, I just thought it was bigger. Mm -hmm. I, and even though I saw you working on it, yeah. I just didn't realize no. how absolutely. You, I had to use tweezers, like the kit came with tweezers, and so I would like use oh, those yeah. tweezers and like stick them in. So it's very For sure. <laughs> time consuming, but yeah. It's spectacular. Yeah, Mary. Uh, why did you choose? Do a for your I think so. I if you remember my mood board, I saw a lot of animals, and I liked like I saw that fish one, and I was like, what else can I use like this kind of scaling look? And I liked this kind of quilling that had more of the lines instead of more of the like curls, I guess. And so I came up with just kind of like what's like a colorful animal, and a peacock has lots of colors. And then mm -hmm. I was like, it would also take up a lot of to like space and and kind of be very coolly cool visually. I think if I was gonna do it again, though, I would have chosen a different animal, maybe something smaller, or like just done something a little less <laughs> crazy. Yeah, but, but this has mm -hmm. this has a great negative positive balance totally, going on yeah. um, with that the white on the right hand side, mm -hmm. and then the super down. intricate yeah. on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So it I don't know. I mean, I understand you're the one who did it, <laughs> so yeah. you're the one who would know whether you wanted to do it again yeah. harder or easier, but it's you know for taking on your first project with yeah. it that's pretty impressive so all right big round of applause thank you